Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Indiana Gear Up YouTube channel. We're so excited that you joined us today. As Indiana Gear Up works to build capacity and resources and to be of support to our schools, teachers, parents, students, and community partners, we first want to let you know of ways in which we can connect. As you're joining us today on our YouTube channel at Indiana Gear Up, please subscribe to our page, share with your friends, family, any community members that may be interested in learning more about the resources or projects that we're working on uh, throughout the remainder of the year into the summer, professional development that we have, as well as preparing for next year. Uh, you can find us on social media platforms such as Facebook at Indiana Gear Up, Twitter at Indiana Gear Up, as well as Instagram at Indiana Gear Up. Also, you can reach out to us via email, indianagearup at purdue.edu. We have staff members behind the scenes who are readily available to answer any questions that you may have. Um, today, we'll be looking at how you connect with us on our website at indianagearup.org. And more specifically, our resource tab that's available for teachers right now. Um, we have an Indiana Gear Up COVID-19 resource folder that's available and it's free. This was developed um, by a seasoned expert of team, uh, a team of regional directors um, who have really just have an ample amount of experience in the education field. Uh, there are several documents here um, that you can browse through and use at your leisure. Uh, today, more specifically, we're gonna be taking a look at the Gear Up Educational website resources. And each day we're going to be sharing a tutorial on one of these websites that is specific to the subject for the high school level, the link that is available, the description, as well as the services that are currently offered. Again, we hope that, that this can be of use to you now or in the near future for teachers, uh, staff members, parents, um, or community members. So enjoy. Hello again, Stacy Kitchen with Indiana Gear Up, and we are sharing another resource with you. Uh, they have now uh, for you to go to is Audible. It's the largest collection of audio books. This, when I went through this for you, um, it does have uh, quite a few stories, but it is limited in uh, the number that they offer here, um, as well as some I have not ever heard of before. However, this could open the door for some of your students to read something that would, they may not have chosen prior. Now they do have the list of Harry Potter, which is always one of my favorites. And I an, was an elementary teacher and principal, so therefore these littlest listeners and elementary books are uh, a pretty good assortment. In elementary, they have 103 books to choose from. With the tween category, there are 42 books. Um, there's a nice variety here of different types of books that you can um, either assign your student to listen to or offer this as a link for them to go to and have them choose something that uh, appeals to them. Additionally, so in the teen category, again, there's 69 books, a nice variety. Uh, you can also notice here that, um, you know, they do have, they are rated and you can open up and, and out of 96 people, you know, it got four and a half stars, which is good. It does give you the synopsis as well as um, it gives you the outline of why people rated it the way that they did what they liked and what they didn't like about the book, which is a good way for you to teach your students to look at the book and get an idea from the ratings on whether or not they think that is something that they would like to read. There are literary classics as well. There's 27 of them. It's a fairly nice collection. I wish it was a little larger myself, but um, there are definitely some good classics in here. So while this is not extensive, um, obviously people can do a um, 
audible.com, you know, you can go there and you can get a subscription, which is not overly expensive, but this is a nice free resource for you to be able to share with your students. Um, and there's enough variety there. I think you can find things that you could either assign to your students or let them go through and find one in here that they could do a report on if they would like. So um, it's worth looking at and uh, sharing with your students. So um, again, I hope you enjoy this resource and hopefully they'll expand on it some more uh, as time goes and offer more options for you.